Shalom. Before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakaf, Kadash. Those are the ancient Paleo Hebrew uh, names of the uh, who the word is called God and, uh, and the Son Jesus Christ, man. Which the on uh, the name of the Lord or the name of God, so called God in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh. And the name of your uh, of the who the word called Jesus Christ in the ancient Hebrew tongue, his name is Yahweh Shah. And those are the true power of the universe and the power of the Israelites, man, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, the true biblical uh, Hebrew Israelites, man. And second second off, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. Teaching the doctrine and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and Shalom to the sincere brothers, the Akim, that's on the highways and byways, that's also in the ministry, doing the work as in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, Charlotte Camp, coming at you with another lesson. You know, like I already said at the beginning of the video, you know, the message is to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the uh, uh, Hebrew Israelites, but the Lord is only looking for the elect, man, the 144,000, and the one-third, man, because those are the only ones that are going to be sanctified to get salvation when Yahweh shall return, man, with the uh, angels and what the world call UFOs, man, you know, which are the chariots, man, and the Lord is going to come back and deliver the 144,000 and the one-third, man, you know, so basically I'm going to get into, you know, a lesson about how the Lord is going to Restore health to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, the Israelites, man, and how he's going to do that, man, by uh, giving them a kingdom, man, but first, before the kingdom come, you're going to have all type of hell uh, breaking loose here throughout the world, man, especially America, man, which are known as the uh, times of Jacob trouble, man, you know, because that was the time we're coming into, man, and why? Because the Lord is going to come back and judge this place, man, especially two-thirds of his um, people, man, for being disobedient, you know, for not believing on his son, Yahweh Shah, you know, not taking heed or, hurt or hearkening unto the prophets, the men of the Lord that's out there giving a warning before the destruction come, you know, and the Lord also is going to destroy America, which is Babylon the Great, by thermonuclear fire, man, you know, in this up-and-coming uh, uh, World War Three, man, America is going to be vaporized by um, missiles, man, that's going to be shut off, shot off by Russia, Iran, you know, China, you know, Iraq, you know, all these nations that got nuclear capability, the Lord's going to put it in their mind to destroy America, man, NATO, you know, because that's the time we're coming into, man, you know, you're also going to have, you know, great famine, you know, lack of food, water, martial law, you know, uh, uh, race wars. All type of judgment and hell is going to break loose here throughout America and throughout the whole earth, man. But on top of that, after all that is said and done, man, the Lord is going to deliver the elect and is going to set up the elect in the kingdom of heaven, man, to be the new rulers on the earth, man. And that's how the Lord is going to heal his people, man. You know, so I'm going to get into the scriptures, you know, to prove that, man, because the Lord is going to do some beautiful things for the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Those that are doing this work, man. Those that truly... And believe, uh, truly believe on Yahweh Shah, man, having that faith, man. This is Psalms chapter 60, uh, verse 1. O power, thou hast cut us off, thou hast scattered us, thou hast been displeased. O turn thyself to us again. So that we ask in the Lord, man. The elect, you know, the true sincere brothers are going to be the ones that's going to cry out to the Lord, man. Asking the Lord for forgiveness, man. Asking the Lord to save us from our enemies, man. Who are our enemies? The so-called white men, which are the Edomites. You know, the main enemy. You know, the, the, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Africans. All these nations are our enemies, man. And, and they're on top of us right now, man. Mainly the so-called white man, the Edomites, man. And we're looking for the Lord to save us from our enemies, man. You know, to save us and, and uh, from the uh, up and coming destruction of America, man, when this dollar crash and they implement the RFID chip, the mark of the beast on a full scale, when it's mandatory, man, you know, we're looking for the Lord to have 
have mercy upon us, man. That's why we go out there, you know, do the work, man. Preaching the word, man. You know, because that doing the work and having faith in your shot is going to be the way to get up out of this hell or get out or uh, escape the judgment of the Lord, man. Continue on. Verse 2. Thou has made the earth to tremble. Thou hast broken it and healed the branches thereof, for, for it shaken. And the Lord said, you know, the scripture says, you know, he has uh, uh, shaken the, uh, the earth, man. You know, and they say, uh, make the earth to tremble, man. What's going to make those, the earth tremble, man? Those thermonuclear missiles, man. You know, that's going to drop the earth to and fro, man. You know, when they, when they touch down, man, and destroy America and different other parts uh, uh, of these uh, countries, man, when this war, this uh, missile or this uh, nuclear fire missile war take place, man, you know, and they say broken it, man. What, what is going to broke it, man? It's going to bring down the America. It's going to also lead to the, uh, the, um, the fall of you Edomites, man, starting off with you elites, man. You know, the Lord is going to bring your kingdom down, man, break it up, man. And they say, heal the branches thereof, and they mean it when they say heal the branches thereof, it's talking about the nation of Israel, man. You know, the seed of Israel, starting off with the elect, is going to be healed, man. And, you know, how are you going to be, how the elect is going to be healed? First, by hearing the words of the Lord, man. You know, coming back to their nationality, man. You know, uh, uh, finding out they're Israelites, man. Putting off that old man. You know, no, no, not calling yourself African American, Negro, Black. Mexican, Latino, Native American, you know, you know, all these um, proverbs and bywords, which are false identities that the uh, so-called white man, you know, the elites, uh, our oppressors gave unto us, man, you know, that's one of the ways the Lord is going to heal healing us too, man, or bringing us back to the truth, man, bringing us back to who we are, or who the, um, the power is, man, and the prophecies that he's got written in the Holy Bibles, man. To understand them, man, and have faith in how it's shot. Uh, and they say, heal the branches thereof, for it is shaken. So we looking for the Lord to heal the branches, meaning heal the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect, man. And they say it's shaken. So why uh, on the nation of Israel is shaken? But look at the uh, the triacities that we go through, man, or being oppressed, you know, being on uh, the first the first one fired, the last one hired. You know, being subject unto payments, man. Catching all type of hell, man. You know, uh, 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 all type of diseases that plaguing our people, man. You know, you know, uh, being in a country that is unjust for us, man. You know, by this court system, man. You know, catching all type of hell with this uh, court system like uh, child child support. You know, got to depend on go the government funds like EBT. You know, um, uh, Social Security. You know. Basically, you know, catching hell in the society and, and having the curses pulled on us, man. What more for, but why we have the curses on us? Because the Lord has punished us, you know, for being disobedient to him and his son, man. But like I say, only the elect is going to come back, man, and be healed from them curses, man. This is, um, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For, for the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So the Lord is going to have mercy upon Israel, man. You know, and the way he's going to, the way he's doing that is setting up the elect first, man. You know, and the elect was going to get that mercy for believing on Yahweh Shai, man. And believing that Yahweh Shai is a dark skinned man from the tribe of Judah, which are the Negroes, man. Believing that he only died for the nation of Israel, man. You know, and he's going to forgive us for our sins, man. But that was the sacrifice that Yahweh Shah did, man. To forgive Israel for their sins, man. Starting off with the elect. For those that's going to believe in him, man. And do his work, man. You know. So the Lord said he's going to yet choose Israel and have mercy upon them, man. And that's that mercy. Once Yahweh Shah come back and deliver the elect and set up the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, and, and make the nation of Israel righteousness, man. Starting off with the elect. Uh, uh, of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, the Israelites. And it said, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. So the Lord is going to choose Israel, man. And Israel only, man. No other nations, man. You know, the only way these other nations, 
uh, can make it if they bloodline go back to the seed of their father um, being an Israelite, man. That's the only way these uh, Israelites, uh, these few faces uh, can make it, man. That's what the Bible states, man, is this few faces. They might look like heathens, but if they bloodline go back to Negro, Latino, Native American, Native American descent, they are Israelites, man, according to the seed of their father, man. You know, because that's a big mystery also in the scriptures, man, that our people going to look like the other heathen nations, man, because our people, the Lord has scattered us throughout the whole entire planet Earth, man, you know, un, uh, under the hands of these other nations, man, you know, because then that's a curse, man, you know, for being disobedient to the Lord, man. And the Lord also is going to heal do a few faces, Israelites, uh, too, man. And once the kingdom come in, they're not going to look like uh, these heathens, man. They're going to look like uh, your, your average Israelite, man. Your average so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, man. Because looking like a heathen and being an Israelite and looking like a, a heathen is a curse, man. But we understand through the spirit that our people, you know, like I say, were scattered amongst the Isra I mean, amongst the heathens. But they're Israelites, man. And the Lord is going to uh, uh, bring those in or the few faces that believe in him and his son. And doing the work, you know, through the Spirit. And the Lord is going to heal them also, man. Save them, man. Because they're Israelites. And it said, set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And the strangers are talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. No Gentiles, man. You know, they're going to come back into calling themselves Israel. Coming back, knowing who their power is, man. Knowing who Yahweh Shai is. The prophecies that the Bible stated. That, that's going to be fulfilled, man, you know, and knowing that, you know, uh, the spirit and power you have by Shemiah was shot, man. That's how they're going to be joined on uh, to the house of Israel, man, the strangers, man, which are the Israelite foreigners, man. And it said, um, and then, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, meaning hold on to this truth, man. They're going to hold on to belief that they're Israelites, man. Hold on to their nationality, man. Hold on believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, so basically, you know, you know, that's it right there, you know, the point proving that the Lord is going to have mercy upon Jacob, man, upon Israel, man, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And he's going to send them in their own land, meaning he's going to deliver us from out of America and wherever, wherever the elect was scattered at, you know, he's going to deliver them also from uh, the hands uh, of the enemies or these heathens with a few faces. Uh, uh, um, Israelites will be um, basically, you know, deliver also those that's going to be part of their elect, man, that's scattered amongst the earth, man. He says he's going to set them in their own land. The world is the land of Israel. Israel, man. You know, right now, those, those, those impostors are over there. Those fake Jews, which are the Amalekites, or the tribe of Edom, the nation of Edom. But the Lord is going to take them out of that land by thermonuclear fire, man. But Israel was going to be destroyed also in this up and coming World War III. But the, um, the Lord is going to rebuild the land of Israel with the righteous uh, owners, man, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's how the Lord is going to set them back in their own land, the elect. You know, starting off with the elect. You know, this is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 1. 107 verse um, 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction so the Lord sent the word the word man through the spirit man you know unto the uh, uh, the apostles and elders a great millstone on down man you know from their elders you know from Cain Masha you know high priest on uh, Yaqua you know high priest Ariyah you know, Rabbi uh, Abba Bibbins, man, you know, and so so the Lord sent the word, man, and here in these last days, man, you know, and what the word's going to do to the elect, man, heal them, man, convert them back into the power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, and it said, um, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction, so, you know, the Lord, once you get healed, you know, and be part of that elect, man, that we praying that we be hopeful, no more of, man. You know, by having, you know, this understanding, meaning you heal, knowing the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh knowing the names, you know, knowing the prophecies, you know, that's the healing, man. You know, you know, and the Lord said they're going to be saved from the destruction, man. The ones that believe on Yahweh man. 
for the word Yahweh Jah simply mean in the Hebrew he delivers man and he's going to deliver the elect from out of the destruction of America by the missiles and wherever the elect is scattered at he's going to deliver them from their triosities or, or whatever uh, judgment that's going to be taking place man um that's it on that so the Lord for the Lord is going to restore Israel man you know we're not going to be on the bottom forever, man. And we know our people, you know, walk around, you know, the the, the blind ones that's not in not in uh, in the know or uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will. You know, they walk around thinking that America's gonna go on, man. Thinking that you know they're gonna be here from generations to generations. You know, leaving their children uh, 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 in America and being oppressed. You know, having that hope in their children that they can still, you know, have hope to find a better way in America. That they can find a better chance than what they, um, they have, man. But it's not going to be like that, man. The Lord is going to put an end to our oppression, man. He's going to heal us from, from, from our slavery, man. From our captivity, man. By delivering us and setting the kingdom of heaven up. That's going to be um, ruled or going to stand forever, man. And, um, and the brothers in this faith, you know, the elect, you know, the hope elect like myself. You know, and the brothers that's out there doing the will of the Lord and believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, praying they be part of that number, man. Working and having the faith, the faith to be part of the elect, man. We understand that, that the Lord is going to set up a kingdom for us, man. And we're looking for that, man. We're looking for that healing, man. Um, you know, but majority of our people, man, they don't, they ain't, they're not looking for it, man. They rather, you know, rather trust, rather trust in America, man. You know, so they don't want to trust in Yahweh, why Yahweh shall, so the Lord lead them into the delusions, man, thinking that America is going to be all right, man, thinking that America is the place for them, man, not understanding through the scripture, this is a place of our punishment, man, punishment, not captivity, man, for being uh, disobedient to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man, you know, this is, um, Hosea, you this is the book of Hosea, chapter uh, 5 verse 15 I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face so the Lord one point of time man you know he, 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 he turned his face or turned his back on us man meaning he took this wisdom knowledge and understanding from us man he took our nationality from us he took his name you know the, the he took the name Yahweh and his son named Yahweh Shah away from us because we once knew the name of the on uh, the name of the most high and the son man back in the ancient days man back in our past life man you know but through this life you know ever since the time that we came over here and the cargo slave ships man the lord took our inheritance from us man you know and gave us a a, a discontinuing heritage man giving us a, a false identity through our uh enemies man like i say man calling ourselves black latinos native americans mexicans you know, on um, Guatemalans, you know, on uh, Chile, you know, on uh, Chile's, you know, on uh, Argentina's, you know, those are our false identity, man, because our true identity go back to being a Hebrew Israelite forever, for whatever 12 tribes you're from, man, you know, so the Lord say, I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense, and only the elect is going to acknowledge the offense, man, you know, acknowledge their wrongness, man. No, no knowledge to the knowledge Yahweh why Yahweh shot that we went off man and we want him to come back and set us up as a nation again man I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and that's what the elect is doing man and that's what the elect is going to do man seek the face man and the, the face is talking about the wisdom knowledge and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot the truth man that's what the elect is going to do once the, you know the Lord is going to wake them up once they seek um, this knowledge, man, and they fit, if they fit it, they'll, they'll be waking up by Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, they're going to be awoke, man, and the Lord is going to show them his face, man, meaning show them this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, show them, they, show them the nationality, that who they really are, show, show them who their enemies are, show them the prophecies, you know, continue on, in their affliction, they will seek me early, so you know, you're supposed to seek the, early, um, the Lord early now, man, before the evil days come, man, before America crashes, before martial law 
um, be implemented, the RFID chip, the mark of the beast being implemented before the race wars pop off, before the World War III pop off, and the missiles come and destroy this place, before Yahweh Shah come back and destroy this place, man. You're supposed to seek in the Lord now, man. You know, right before the hell break loose, man, when the Lord got that grace period on, on, on opening up, man, before he closed the, the doors, man, on, on, the, on, on this place, man. Because once the Lord sealed the elect, man, 144,000 and the one third, you know, game over, man. That's going to be the end of America and the end of you two thirds uh, Israelites that's out there doing the wickedness, that's being disobedient, and, you know, and it's being scoffers and scorners and not taking heed to the Lord, man. You know, that's going to be the end of the so-called white man, the Edomites empire, man, and the rest of these heathen nations, man. Once the Lord make his second coming, man, that was supposed to get right with the Lord now, man. And not put the day of the Lord off. You know. This is the book of Jeremiah. Um, chapter chapter 3 verse 22. Return ye backsliding children. And I will heal your backsliding. Behold we come unto thee. For thou art the Lord our power. So, you know, the Lord said, you know, return you backsliding, man. And backsliding means talking to the nation of Israel. Talking about, you know, backsliding means going away from the Lord, man. You know, because once, you know, the Lord had made the covenant with us through Moses, you know, for the law, statutes, and commandments that we're supposed to keep, man. But our people backsliding, meaning they're going away from the Lord, man. They don't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. They don't want to, they don't want to believe in Yahweh and the uh, only begotten son. Yahweh Shah, they Savior, you know, they power, man, you know, but the elect is going to seek, man, and find Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, you know, and, and want to be healed, man, you know, because we, we sick right now, man, look, we in these sinful bodies, man, you know, the food is defiled, the air, the water is contaminated, you know, the animals are defiled, man, you know, with certain animals that is lawful to eat, you know, they are, some of them, most of them are abomination, man, like the chicken, you know, the beef, you know, and any other lawful animals that we can eat, man. And some of them are defiled, man. Majority of them, or all of them, man, you know, the um, fish, you know, because the so-called white man, the Edomites are ruling, man. And we're looking for the Lord to heal us, man, from these elements that you know, we catch, man. You know, all these illness that we catch, man. Pat, um, back pain, neck pain, man. You know, uh, um, all type of diseases, man. You know, all type of sickness, man. We're looking for the Lord to heal us. And give us a new body, man. So in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord is going to change our body, man. We're going to go from mort uh, uh, mortality to immortality, man. Meaning, we're going to be living forever, man. And the bodies that the Lord is going to give us is all the uh, angelic bodies, man. We're going to be like angels, man. Like Superman, you know, Superwoman. You know, we're going to be on another level, man. We're going to have a body that going to never ache. We ain't going to never get sick. We ain't going to never die, man. And that's one of the uh, things that the elect is looking for that the Lord promised us, man. Because we have the understanding of what the Lord is going to have for us in the kingdom, man. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 22. Return ye backsliding children, and I will hear your backsliding. So if you return, you know, because the elect was once lost, man. You know, you was going backwards from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know. You know, and, but now the Lord... That he's going to heal the elect from their backsliding, man. You know, and those brothers in the street, you know, um, praying, man. We pray that Lord forgive us for our sin, man. You know, because once you're in the truth, man, we're looking for the Lord to, um, to help us, man, to deliver us, man, not to go back to the world. That majority of the people that's been in this faith or once was in the faith on the truth, you know, that really didn't really believe because they went back into the world, man. So they mean, that meaning that they backsliding, they went back, man. And, you know, we're supposed to go forward, meaning, going and looking for the day of the Lord to come and, and, and deliver us, man, not to go back into the world, man, not to backslide into the world, man, you know, you know, because once, you know, you go back into the world, man, and forget off, forget y'all, uh, put off the day of y'all, bash and y'all shot, you're going to be destroyed, man, and there were these fallouts, you know, on uh, uh, consider, man, they forgot about the part, you know, falling out the truth and what the judgment and the penalty is uh, for you turning your back on the Lord. And stop believing on him and, and stop doing his work, man. That our brothers in the faith, man. We see plenty of examples. 
And we, you know, pray to the Lord. And he keep his spirit on us to keep him doing, man. Um, you know, this is all the book. The book of Isaiah, chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse, um, verse 10, verse 9, uh, he said, Go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. And it's talking about the two-thirds, man, of the nation of Israel, man. The two-thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, and the few faces that also, that, that, that heard about, you know, and know about their bloodline, go back to Israel. But they don't want to get right, man. You know, they, they still want to be ignorant, man. You know. Uh, and it said, make the heart of these people fat. And the heart meaning your mind. In the Hebrew word, love, man. That's what the heart means, man. Your mind. It said, make the heart of these people fat. And make their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. Meaning, the Lord, the Lord uh, didn't give them an understanding. Or the truth, man. You know, he 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 blinded them from this this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, man. The true wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the holy scriptures, man. And he said, uh, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed, because that's the only way you're gonna make it, man. If the Lord open up your eyes, man, open you for spiritual mind, you know. I mean, and they say convert to be healed, meaning, you know, the, the, the convert, meaning, you know, the confess to the Lord, you know, your sins, you know, uh, um, to do the work of the Lord, you know, to have the faith in your how about shot, because that's the only way that we're going to be healed, man, through the spirit and power of your about shot, doing his will and believing on uh, your how about you know, if not, man. They, uh, then they're not going to be healed, man. If, if they don't believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, they're going to be still lost and, and leading and lead and going to be leading to destruction, man. Meaning that they're going to be part of the two thirds, man. Because the elect is going to be the only one that's going to be healed, man. Um, this is another scripture you need to back it up, man. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. What then, Israel, have not obtained that which he seeketh for? You know, so what Israel trying to obtain, man? They're trying to find the, uh, the truth, you know? Because you can tell our people are lost, man. You know, they're they, they, they thinking that, you know, they're trying to find the true way of living, man. Some of them, you know, thinking the true way of living is getting money, you know, uh, um, um, trying to live the lavish life. Uh, 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 chasing the American dream with which America is about to fall, you know. Some of our people hoping in these uh, false gods and these religions, man, you know, hoping in uh, Islam, Egyptology, uh, Christianity, Roman Catholicism, you know, uh, all these religions that's up under the sun, man, which is leading them to destruction, man, and leading them away from their true power. You how about Shin was shot, man, you know. So I'm going to read it again. It said, What then Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it. So the elect is gonna gonna be the only one that's gonna uh attain the the faith, man. Well what, what they what the real what the Israelites seeking for, man, the truth, man. Only the elect is gonna attain the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man. Because that how it's written, and that's what it says just now, man. Only the elect has attained it, man. 144,000 and the one third. Of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And those that are Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, man. There's a few faces, man. And it say, um, What then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest was blinded. So only the elect is going to attain the understanding of the Holy Scriptures, man. And understand the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And he said, The rest was blinded, man. Meaning the rest of the nation of Israel. Which are the two thirds, you know, of the Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans, they are blind, man. They blind to the fact to who they are, 
They blind to the fact to the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They blind to the fact about the understanding of the prophecies and the times that we coming into. You know, even if you got you know ones out there that call themselves Israelites, but they're not pushing the doctrine to the fullest in truth and sincerity, they are blind, man. You know, even though they got that the flesh on them, they don't have the spirit, man. The flesh meaning they got the uh, the identity, nor that they Israelite, but they don't have the spirit, the breath meaning. They don't have the understanding of the scriptures, man. You got some of these Israelite camps out here that don't praise, you know, or don't exalt Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. You got some of them making merchandise off the off the Bible, man, trying to gain money, man. You know, well, that, well that's against the scriptures, man. You know, cause we supposed to give this word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua out for free, man. You know, of course, you know, you take offerings when they give it to us, man. But you don't make the word of the Lord a merchandise, man, for your own gain, you know, a uh, 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 money. You know, and, and, and doing the uh, doing the, the work of the Lord deceitfully, man. Cause that's what they're doing, man. You got, you know, Israelite camps out here that um, want to bring all Israel together when they clearly say that the rest was blinded, man. Meaning the two thirds was blinded. And only the elect is gonna get the understanding. You got Israelite camps that want to save all nations, man. Save the heathen nation. You know, when the Bible clearly said only Israel is gonna be saved, man. Starting off with the elect and our heathen, the heathen enemies. Um, going to go into the um, captivity up under the nation of Israel in the kingdom of heaven. Not being joined hand in hand with us, but they're going to be under us, man, as our captives, man, as our slaves, man. You know, you got a lot of these Israelite camps that, you know, saying that the um, you got to keep the laws, you know, and the Lord, basically the Lord's uh, death was in vain or his sacrifice was in vain, you know. You got a lot of these Israelite camps talking about peace, you know, celebrating, on uh, uh, throwing on um, parties and award shows, man, and that's not of the scriptures, man. So they even blind, man. But only the elect is gonna attain the true understanding, man. And what is the true understanding, man? Knowing what times we in, knowing about the destruction of America. That's another thing that most of these Israelite camps, these false Israelite camps, don't preach, man. They don't preach the destruction of America and the downfall of the Edomites and the rest of these heathens, man. But the elect is gonna attain the understanding about the destruction of America that's written in the Bible, man, known as Babylon the Great. They're gonna attain they're gonna obtain the, the understanding of, of the Lord Yahweh Shah and, and the Father Yahweh that they that, that's that they true name, man, and what they business about, man, what they coming back to do, man. Um uh, but they say the rest was blinded, and then the two thirds are gonna be blinded, man. They're not gonna see the the uh uh or uh, see uh, see the uh, how or see or have the understanding of, of the faith, man, of the scriptures, man, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They're not going to understand the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua until the Lord bring them back in the kingdom through the elect, man. But that's how the two thirds going to make. Uh, they're not going to make it on this side, but they're going to make it in the kingdom of heaven by coming back through the elect, man, through the seed of the elect, man. You know, through having sex, man. Cause we all going to pre uh, create on, on on the earth, man. In the kingdom of heaven, man, we're going to have sex, man. We're going to have multiple women. And that's how we're going to bring the two-thirds uh, of the nation of Israel back. You know, you know, praying I'll be part of that elect number, man. Um, that's how the two-thirds two -thirds, two -thirds are going to have hope, man. You know, they're not going to have it on this side. But the Lord's going to punish them. And the, but the Lord's going to... Set them up in the kingdom of heaven as the offspring of the elect, man. This is um Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse um three, and it reads, "For lo, the days come," said the Lord, "that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah," said the Lord. And I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their forefathers, and they shall possess, possess it. So, you know, the Lord is clearly saying right here, man, that he's going to uh, turn the captivity, meaning, uh, you know, save us or deliver us from slavery, man, from the hands of our enemies, man. You know, wherever, wherever the, uh, the nation of Israel is scattered at, man, starting off with the elect, man. You know, and how he's going to... Uh, Set us in our land once again. Once Yahweh shall come back, right before the um, missiles destroy this place, America. You know the Lord is going to deliver it 
the, uh, the elect that's, that's going to be here in America, and then the elect that's going to be scattered throughout the earth, the Lord is going to beam them up by the ways of the so-called UFOs, the chariots, and deliver them, man. And at the appointed time, you know, once the missiles destroy America, you know, the Lord is going to come back on, by the UFOs coming down on the earth and, and, and set up the kingdom of heaven, man. That's why in Revelation they say that, the book of Revelation they say, John said he saw new Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem coming out of the sky, man. Meaning that the chariots are going to come back down and place the elect upon the earth, man. And one of the main things that the elect is going to do is set up the kingdom of heaven by uh, enslaving the enemies, man, the elites, man. Because the elites are not going to be destroyed, man. Uh, most of these heathens that's not going to be destroyed in America or, or throughout the world, the Lord's going to save them for slavery, man. That's, that's their salvation, man. They're going to be saved for slavery for the Israelites, man. You know, and they're going to have to go into captivity, man, and build up the kingdom of heaven, man. Once once the Lord uh, places us in our land, back in our land. Um, and them days is coming when the Lord is going to deliver the nation of Israel, man, starting off with the elect, you know. We're very, very nigh, man. And one of the main signs to know that is World War Three, you know, because World War Three is brewing, man. And you know the understanding of the scriptures, man. You know, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh And one of the hints that the Lord gave us that Yahweh Shah is going to return during the third war, man. You know, and, and we that's how you know that. That's how we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah that the, uh, the Lord's second coming is now, man. Because we see World War Three being brewing up, man, you know. So the Lord is going to come back during World War Three. And fight against these armies, man, and deliver the elect, man. And, and, and that's where you're gonna build. Then where he's gonna build up the kingdom of heaven. Well, this is on uh, Jeremiah chapter thirty-one, verse thirty-three. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. A covenant going back to a promise, you know, uh, a contract. You know, but um, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. So he says, This is going to be the covenant, man, meaning the new covenant, man, with the who? The house of Israel, man, with no other nation, man, only with the Negroes. The covenant is only given to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And after those days, say the Lord. And what days, after what days, man, the destruction of America, once Yahweh Shah delivered the elect, you know, and set up the kingdom of heaven in Israel, man, on, on the earth. And it said, after those days, say the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write them in their hearts. So the Lord's going to take the law, statute, commandments that he gave unto Moses to give to the children of Israel. He's going to take them and put them in the inward part, meaning in their mind, you know, in their spirit, man, you know. And it's going to start with the elect. And it said, and write them in their hearts, and will be their power, and they shall be my people. So the Lord is going to take the law, statute, commandments, and put it in our inward part, meaning our mind spiritually, and we're not going to uh, go off anymore, man. We're going to be righteous forever, man, you know. And it says, um, And it said, I will put the law in their inward parts and write them in their heart and will be their power and they shall be my people. So the Lord only chosen, chosen or had chosen the nation of Israel, man. So, continue on. Verse 34. And they shall teach no man, I mean they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. But they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. Say the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sins no more. So when the kingdom of heaven come, man, ain't like on um, the on um, the um, elders and apostles are going to uh, on this past, you know, lesson out there doing the account, man. They say ain't gonna be no need for the prophets anymore in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, because everybody is gonna know who they are, man. You know, all nation of Israel, the whole nation of Israel, is gonna know that they're Israelites, man. And they're not going to be calling themselves Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. 
you know, or they confuse faces. It's not going to be calling itself Irish, you know, Chinese, you know, uh, white, you no know, black. I mean, you know, uh, East, uh, East Indian. You know, those confused faces going to be calling themselves Israelites, man, because they're going to know them, man. They're going to know who their power is, man. And the Lord said, from the least to the greatest, man. So we're not going to have prophets in the, in the uh, kingdom of heaven. We're going to be kings and priests, man. You know, and we're going to be righteous, man. You know. <coughs> and it says, For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. And that's part of the healing, man. The Lord restoring the health to us, man. Taking away our sin, man. You know, blotting out our iniquity, man. Starting off with the elect, man. You know, because when the two-thirds come back through the seed of the elect, they're going to be righteous, you know, too. Because it's going to be um, born in them, man, through their spirit, man. You know, once they come back into the kingdom of heaven, man. So they don't have to, they ain't, they ain't going to be need, or uh, uh, they're not going to be lost like how they're going to be, how they lost on this side, man. Because when they come into the kingdom of heaven and, and born through the elect, then they're going to know that they are Israelites, man. You know, they're not going to be calling themselves the, the false identities. Or uh, praising these false gods, man. All, all the whole nation of Israel and the kingdom of heaven is going to know who they are. And they're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is their power, man. And the only true power, man. You know, they're going to know the whole thing, you know. You know, but the elect is going to get it first on this side, man. You know, and brothers, we pray that we be part of that number, man. Because we're looking for the Lord's healing, man. You know, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, those names, healing is in the name, man. Because what come with that name, man? Hope, faith. You know, and, and eventually, the uh, salvation, man, when the Lord shows himself physically, man, you know, because we worship the Lord through the Spirit, you know, we might be can't see the Lord right now, man, but we you know we have faith that he exists, and when he do come and show himself, man, ain't going to be no more he say or she say, man, or what the prophets say, man, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, you know, it's shown that the Lord is real, man, you know, and it's going to be manifest, man, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushat is the only power, man. And they're only going to save the nation of Israel, man. And then and the other nations, the heathen nations, are going to go down, man. So the Lord is going to restore health to the Israelites, man. You know, and the elect is going to be the first one to get that healing, man. So brothers, keep fighting, you know. You know, keep you know, keep praying, you know, for that healing, man. And the Lord is, is going to heal us, man. And you're doing it now, man, step by step, man. You know, to the point that we're going to be saved and we're going to be set up in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, in rulership, man. You know, the devil we fight for us. You know, so brothers, keep fighting, keep pushing. You know, I hope this lesson is edifying. So the next time, you know, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, the Kaw, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that great millstone that rule well in the doctrine and in the ministry and through the spirit and power and the faith of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And Shalom to the elect men, the hopeful elect men, but Alf Dawadah, the house of David, the ones that's fighting on the highways and byways. And in the ministry of Yahweh Shah, Shalom.